Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to Kotar. And it looks like we are in for one heck of a fight, guys. Master Uthar has been dealt with, as well as Yathura. And now I think, if memory serves, we're going to have to fight our way through this entire area. And possibly by ourselves. So, let's get our Master Valor up and see what happens. You there. How is it that you're leaving Nagasado's tomb by yourself? You went in for your final test, didn't you? Where is Master Uthar? Let's see here. Well, we could go ahead and... No? I am Revan. I killed the Master. You must bow down before me. That's not our style. Master Uthar is dead. I killed him. What? You? But you aren't even a Sith yet. Surely you jest. I don't jest. And don't call me Shirley. Hmm. Well, I could say I can kill you just as easily, fool. Move aside. Because if we say we're not a Sith at all, it actually, that's going to provoke a fight. So, let's go ahead and just be a little bit more forceful. I can kill you just as easily, fool. You lie. But what if Master Uthar is really dead? How can we hope to stand up against someone who could kill him? Don't be a sniveling coward. I will prove this one a spy. And if Uthar is dead, I shall become the new master. Oh, Lord. It's going to be like that, is it? And everyone, it's going to be like a pack of dogs on a three-legged cat. Well, might as well, uh, you know, say hello. Meet the new boss. Not the same as the old boss. Come on. Send him back. You all really should have worked on your vulnerability to force storms. How'd that work out for you? Huh? And what we get from the rational one. Credits and an ion grenade. Well, here we go. Anyone else want a piece of the pie? That sounded dirty. Oh, Lord. Or is everyone... Oh, yeah. Everyone's going against everyone. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Okay, I'm okay with that. I just really need to find where the rest of my party went. But all of these guys look to be not that much of a threat. Karth? Teeth? Oh, there they are. Okay. Oh, they're about to die. All of them. Holy crap, I didn't even notice. Heal thyself. Aw, oh, T3's down. Oh, they were all the way back here. Holy crap. Okay, let's hope that Revan is uh, doing well. That was a bit of an issue. Okay. Now, probably should advance med pack this. And get all these guys out of the way. They all seem very susceptible. Well, you know what? It actually probably would be best if we just went ahead and let them die. Because then we can put our full attention to Revan living. Which is good. Should we just spam Force Wave? That seems to be doing the most amount of damage. Except for this guy. Let's combo that out. There you go. You keep your drain life to yourself there, sir. Now then. Combat mode has been engaged. We're still in a scrap. We're about to run out of our advanced med packs, unfortunately. And looks like you're just a normal guard. You don't have any force powers. There we go. Garth? There he Hi, guys. You feel better? You guys were in a very compromising Ready. 
situation when I walked back in here. I guess once everyone sensed that Uthar was dead, it was... Everyone decided that uh, it was their time to shine. Now, did we actually look in these plasteel cylinders? Ooh. And plenty of remains, but now everyone is back together and in good shape. T3, let's go ahead and get this open. Advanced med pack and a construction kit to make up for the th what we've lost during this fight. Now that we're together, no power in the verse should be able to take us on. Sith student. Hey guys, it's final exam day. Oh, you all failed. Good grief. Thought you guys would be made out of sterner stuff. Now, do we have to fight our way out through the base? Because that actually might be a problem. Oh dear. That poor lonely guard. He was one day from retirement. I know I use that joke a lot, but it, it definitely fits. I grew up in an era where all those cops who died were only one day away from retirement. Or one day away from their child being born, or one day away from their marriage. And... Okay. We don't have to kill anyone now. Let's get a nice quiet drink. I have heard a disturbing rumor, Seth Talgar. A hunter matching your description is reported to have slain a crate dragon on Tatooine. Please, tell me it wasn't you. What business is it of yours if I hunt crate dragons? I don't mean to pry, Seth Talgar, but the crate dragon is a fierce and deadly beast. A monster even one of your power would be smart to avoid. If something should happen to you, if you're injured or even slain by such a beast, then Malik will never be toppled. I can look after myself. I suppose if there is anyone in the galaxy who could reasonably expect to survive such an encounter, it would be you, Seth Talgar. But if you're going to continue with such reckless escapades, I would strongly recommend you stock up with weapons and armor from my inventory. Ah, okay, it was a selling point. And we actually don't need to look at most of these because we are heading back to Yavin Station first and foremost and making sure that the Trandoshans are dealt with and we get access to the Prime stock. Now, what was this over here? Did we open this crate? Did we miss all of these boxes? Oh, apparently some we, we were able to get to. So, looks like all the Zerka folks here, and the prospective Sith. Hey, if you guys want an academy, it's just right outside. It's all yours. It's like, here, here are the keys. Clean up when you're done. But, actually, now would be a good time to... Let's go ahead and get rid of Karth and get Candorus back in to see if we can actually proc that special encounter. Because we almost have all of the special encounters done for the party, except for, like, Candorus and I think Juhani. Yes. So maybe heading out here to the Ebonhawk will trigger it. Let's hope, at least. Hello there, Zerka guards. Nothing to see here. Hmm. Might have to wait till uh, Tatooine. Or not, Candorus. Where'd Candorus go? Huh? Oh, he was right behind what? me. Sorry, it's been a long day for uh, the former Sith Lord.
Okie dokie. Um, let's chat with the crew, see if they have anything new to say. Yeah, what do you want? Your choice. Nothing from Candrus. Statement. HK-47 is ready to serve, Master. Nothing Master. from HK. Ooh, maybe... Maybe Joe Lee would be more inclined to talk. Got something on your mind, do you? Do you want to talk about the war now? Not particularly. Persuade? <sighs> Not in Ah. Curses. And I think the only person, the only two people that would really have anything potentially new to say would be Juhani and Karth. How may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? Wow. Padawan still. What is it you would Of course. Nothing from Juhani. Karth should be at least a little bit happy and less whiny now that his son's been saved. Yes, what's on your mind? Do you think you'll see Dustal again? I think so. If he's anything like he used to be, Dustal hates to be tricked. There's no way he'll let the Sith trick him again. As for whether or not he'll be my son again, I I don't know. He's so full of anger and hate. I wasn't expecting him to be like this. Well, maybe we can work it out. I, I hope so. I, I guess I'll have to wait and see. Thanks, by the way, for all your help. Well, you're very welcome. And I don't have any more. Uh, the Karth quests are over. All I have is Joe Lee, Juhani, and Candrus, and Bastila has been saved. So, now that we have our star map piece, we have access to the Starge For Starforge system. This planet has no entry in the Republic archives. So that's good. Let's head to Yavin. Thank you, Korriban. It's been a little slice of heaven. Actually, multiple lightsaber slices of heaven. Really, we did the Sith a favor. Because if those were the candidates that were going to be new Sith Lords, like, standards had definitely gone low. At least since Revan was in charge. But I guess you have to take what you can get. Alright. And I notice there's no, like, preamble or anything. There's nothing from Karth saying, hey, let's go to the Starforge system, or anything like that. It's just... Okay, go. And let's grab Jolie and Candrus. How long has it been since... Oh, wow, three levels since uh, we've had Jolie in the party. Hmm. Well, let's auto-level up him. Actually, let me go ahead and level up everyone off camera real quick. Hack. Never mind. I can't. What? I can't actually uh, switch the party here in the station, which is kind of odd. I guess all the stuff that you have to do with the uh, access panels and the airlocks and such. But it'll be nice to have someone with a heal ability, so we don't waste all of our med packs, which we need to stock up on again while we're here. Well, you're back. I was just taking a look at a few new things I thought you might like, and I... Oh, Cloak Trandoshans. You? How did you get in here? We have our ways, Rodian. Just because you didn't hear us dock doesn't mean we can't. And your own stealth units have proven most... effective. Hmm. What do you want? We're here to teach you a lesson, Subam. And you as well, human. Unfortunately, you won't live to correct your mistakes. And that escalated quickly. Yoink! <laughs> force wave for days. Someone force waved me. That was weird. Or I got knocked back. Maybe a force grenade or something. Yep, let's just spam. How many med packs could they have? <laughs> this is kind of cheesy, but if I got the force points to spare. Get it. And now, just you guys. Let's go ahead. Oh, he's stunned. It's okay, he got a heal off. 
And let's just top off the tank here. Let's go back and forth. Because I don't think I have a whole lot of people shooting at me right now. Oh, you. No med packs. That's my thing. I do like the fact that it, that everyone else can use the med packs, though. And we're going to let Joe Lee Saber work do all the talking. Lord help us. On his end. And I see that's going well. Come on. Here it is. There you go. Sure. And I guess Revan is too far away to really get the benefit of it. Let's get that flurry in. There you go. Man, XP for days. Stasis field? Let's see what happens there. Or did we kill everyone? Those Trandoshan scum. They couldn't get more out of me, so they tried to kill me instead. Hopefully I'll have time before they send someone else to investigate. Maybe rig their ship to take off somewhere else. Thank you for your help, at least. I know I couldn't have taken them on my own. You think? I'll let you look at my special stash. It's the stuff I wasn't showing them. It won't be cheap, but if you want it, you can buy it. Environmental Bastion Armor? Mantle of the Force. This is what we needed. This is what we were saving up our stuff for. The Mantle of the Force is an item assembled by Suvam Tan from pieces found in the ruins of Exar Kun's temple in the fourth moon orbiting Yavin. Ooh, I like it. We're going to grab that and the Heart of the Guardian. And our sabers should be, like, good to go. And we had some advanced combat implants and some other good stuff. We'll look at that here in a sec. Now, I know I probably did this in the wrong order, but really, we weren't using our money for anything else. So, that's the Trandoshans dealt with. What? And I do... Ooh, remains. You have my attention. And I actually do need to go somewhere that has um, advanced med packs and such since I am out. And they don't seem to have any, at least not that I noticed. This is a straight out equipment depot now. I'm getting a lot of credits from these Transdotions though. Not enough to make up our losses, but... I like enemies that carry a lot of cash on them. I mean, think about how much money they'd get off me if they looted, if they were able to kill Revenant friends. It's like, we can retire now, boys. Okay, everyone is looted. Now, can we actually activate these access panels now? Access denied. Oh, well. Well, let me go ahead and finish playing, um... I was about to say Sabak. Let me go ahead and finish playing uh, Pazak with Suvum here, and I'll see you guys when we get access to even more of his special stock. Huh, <laughs> whoops. I've been paying attention. Apparently we already did that. I've already played him more times than he is comfortable with. So, double checking to see if there's anything else. Environmental Bastion Armor. 7. Immunity versus Fire and Sonic. Man. That is some good stuff. Light exoskeleton. Nothing in terms of saber work. Awareness, computer use, demolitions, repair, and security. Check that out for 8,000. Advanced bio stabilizer mask. Medical interface visor. Not too shabby. Composite heavy plating. I'll probably have to do a little bit more of a uh, inventory because we can. Le I do believe we can leave the Starforge planet. Um, can we though? Can I leave the planet? Well, we need to go back. I need to go to Dantooine anyway and get this stuff going with Candorus and Juhani. So we're not going to the Starforge planet just yet. And I actually want to find out what these uh, lightsaber crystals do. And obviously, I'm going to be a little bit 
um, selfish here and put both of them into Revan Saber. So what we got? Oh, I can't. That's weird. Oh, it's a it's a color crystal. Hmm. Often increases heart of the whoa, whoa, whoa. attack five twenty six, attack modifier by five. Mantle of the force. And that turns it into like a bl like fire orange blade. Hmm. Well, let's read these here. Though its origins have been lost, the legendary artifact known as the Heart of the Guardian was rumored to have been instrumental in the founding of the Guardian Order of Jedi. Nothing further is mentioned in any Sith archive, but both Sith and Jedi whisper their own legends. According to the Jedi, the Heart will appear in a time of greatest turmoil and deliver the galaxy from salvation. The Sith, however, believe it to be an object of their heritage which will bring the galaxy under their do dominion. The Heart of the Guardian appears to be a magnificently shaped lightsaber crystal of unknown composition. Analysis by Suvim Tan has yielded inconclusive results, not being able to identify what mineral it's made of. Suvim has even begun to wonder if it's a normal crystal at all, for at times it seems as if it were almost alive. All known lightsaber crystals seem to have a strange resonance with the Heart of the Guardian, their properties being altered or enhanced when in close proximity to it. Additionally, energy focused through the heart results in a beam of unique clarity and color. Now, if memory serves, I think what this is is the mantle of the force is more for amplifying of force powers, while the guardian is the more martial sword fighting aspect of it, or saber fight. So let's read the mantle here. The mantle of the force is an item assembled by Suvim Tan from pieces of Exar Kun's temple. It appears to be the remains of an even older artifact of unknown origin. It is not known if it was used by Exar Kun or just uncovered when his temples were destroyed. Nor is it known what the original properties of the item were, but given the current, uh, current, given the current abilities, in its original state, it must have been fearsome indeed. The mantle is a crystalline lattice, resembling a lightsaber crystal in many ways, but having the additional property of being able to radically alter the flow of energy when that passes through it. When combined with other crystals, the mantle warps their properties, often enhancing them to incredible levels. Um, additionally, the mantle seems to focus, almost act as a focusing tool for force-sensitive individuals, leading to the idea that the original artifact may have once been a powerful tool of the Sith, or perhaps something they took with them when the Dark Jedi originally split from the Order. So, actually, it may not be. Let's go ahead and keep the mantle of the Force um, equipped on it at the moment. And, um, what do we have here? In terms of our Sigil Crystal, 1d8 extra damage, and the Damond is Regeneration, a Force Points 2 attack bonus. Hmm. I like the massive criticals of 2d6. That's actually a lot better, but we've got some special Saber, or Crystals here. Check that out. That is all against all the droids. Droid killing ones. Solari. Alignment group damage bonus versus alignment group dark side. Light side damage in it. Oh. Okay. That's good since we are light side. We've got to come to terms with that. And I do like the massive criticals. Attack modifier plus six. Six to 27. 212 versus dark side. Ooh. Now, what does the blade look like? It's not our normal, lovely purple. Oh, yes it is. Okay, it didn't actually change... It didn't change the lightsaber color. Or did I... Oh, okay. I didn't actually... Um... Who did I do that to? Oh, I did that to a plain blue one. <laughs> not actually Revan's. My bad. Well, that's fine. Let's go ahead and equip that one. Should be a strange, relatively strange looking saber. Oh, I think we did that with uh, Jahani's. Let me go ahead and fix that real quick. So that actually made things even nastier. Um, 6 to 27 damage, light side, 2 to 12 versus dark side. Crit times 2 with additional um, damage in the state of that crit. And attack mo modifier plus 6. 
So that is just awesome. Let's double check and make sure that all of our custom blasters have been dealt with. We may need to go back to Korriban and get some of these pieces that we saw in that store in the bar. But let's see what the saber... Oh, it's very icy blue. It actually looks more like Luke's. Luke's saber wasn't a traditional... or Anakin's saber, at least in the original trilogy, wasn't a, uh, wasn't a very dark blue. It was more like this, more icy. So I'm going to have to read up a little bit on what exactly these guys do. Well, let's uh, go ahead and we will fly to Tatooine. And we'll see if we can actually proc this encounter. We're going to take both Candrus and Jahani along. We're on Tatooine. And come on, this better proc. And we need to get you honey. Good to go. What? Hmm. Yes? Well, it may be waiting until... There we go. Who's this for? Hmm. What, what the, the hell oh. is your kind doing here? Bad enough I have to deal with all these other idiots, but now there's a stinking Cathar on this world too? I have as much right to be here as you do, sir. Wow, that um, that's weird coming from a uh, Twi'lek. Just ignore him, Johnny. Actually, no, that's I don't I don't tolerate that. Don't seek to aggravate us. Ooh, big man, the Jedi shooting his mouth off from behind a lightsaber, or oh, whatever you're carrying, hiding behind your pet cat there. And a woman at that. We should have exterminated all you Cathar when we had the chance. What? What do you know about my world? I know enough that... Hey, wait a minute. You look familiar somehow. What? You? Do you two know each other? This doesn't concern you, Jedi trash. Hmm. Now where could I have... No, he's dead, and she likely is too. I... What are you talking about? Maybe I was wrong. Still, I think a specimen like you would be a nice addition to my collection. So, what would it take, Jedi, for you to sell your pet here to me? I really want the ability to force choke. She is her own person. Now, don't be so selfish. We both know Cathair aren't real people anyway. The females make amusing pets, but the males should be put down like the animals they are. I remember one time on Taurus. What? What did you say? You were on Taurus? What did you do on Taurus, you scum? Put one of you down like the animals you are. So easy. Then I saw one of the females on the auction block. <sighs> but those darn Jedi. It was you. What? Me? Oh, ho, now I recognize where I've seen that face before. You were the little Cathair I was going to purchase. But those Jedi came and stole my pet away from me. You were buying Cath Cathar slaves? When I was fighting with the Mandalorians against the Cathar, I developed an appreciation for these creatures. They make excellent servants if properly trained. You Jedi act all prim and proper, but inside you must feel the same way I do about the lesser, non-human species. Did it the Sith at least let their feelings show on the outside. You... the homeworld. Come now. Will you let your pet go? No! I'm sure we can come up with a price we both think is fair. You blind Twi'lek? This is kind of like, um, uh, the racist black man that Dave Chappelle does on his show. She's not for sale. And I will see you dead for what you have done to my people! Uh, hold on a second. D don't be hasty. <laughs> let's get him. I'm just going to look at her. If she if she does it, she does it. There's no emotion. There is peace. I 
I will remain calm. I am a Jedi now. My lust for vengeance must be curbed. Yes, yes. Say no to the dark side, but I will have you yet. Ha! Boy. Interesting. So we'll probably meet him somewhere, and I will be glad to kill him. But I've actually never seen that before. I never really advanced uh, the relationship with Jahani enough to get to that quest line. So that's going to be very, very satisfying when we uh, finally take that guy out. The blind Twi'lek. But anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you liked it, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. That'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.